Hello everybody, it's 75x and I'm finally back, sorry for not uploading for a while, doesn't really matter. In this video, we'll be making an ALU from a CCA. An ALU is similar to a CCA, it can add stuff, but it has even more complex functions than a CCA. Compared to a regular CCA, carry cancel adder basically, it only has an addition, but an ALU has much more an addition. This video, will be converting this regular CCA into this... ALU. Now, this tutorial assumes that you have already built a carry cancel adder. If you haven't yet built a carry cancel adder, go watch this video. And also, all the steps I show here will only work for that specific type of the carry cancel adder. Um, enough chatting, let's get to the video. So, to get started, we're actually going to have to modify the CC a little bit so that it has support for war. And doing that is going to be a bit complex, so you're going to have to trim a lot of stuff. To get started, we're going to have to get rid of this. We're going to replace this with solid blocks because we no longer re need them. And then we're just going to delete these blocks. We're going to delete everything here. And just delete the rest. So we're only left with the excellent gates. So let me do that for you. I'm going to pause the video. Once that's done, see, we only have an XOR gate remaining. So there's a, a whole reason for that. We're, gonna, we're actually going to have to expand that carry part one block. So what I mean by that, we're going to put this block again. And I think you should put this block as well. Then you're going to put two blocks here instead and two nests. And instead of a repeater, instead of a repeater right here, you're actually going to put it right here instead. Like this. There's going to be a repeater gonna be a dust comparator and we're just gonna do the same carry part as we did so of course this lab tower so this is gonna be a little bit different than you might think so we're also gonna obviously put the target blocks but this time we're gonna put it here and uh, again you can actually use slabs instead So yes, we're just gonna do something like this instead. As you can see, it's just the target block. But again, you can use you can use slabs and blocks as well. It really doesn't matter. If your version of Minecraft doesn't support target blocks, use the slab and block instead. And now we're obviously gonna put torches as well, just like we did. And we're gonna put another slab here. And now we're just gonna do the carry part as we used to. Okay, so this is the output. I'm not just gonna test it right now because we don't have this part here. And there's a specific reason why we don't have. And I'm just going to already place the carry in function. And you probably remember that it's done like this. So we're, we came up something like this, but um, it's still not a functional key CCA yet. Uh, it's gonna be functional once we add ore. So why not we do that right now? Let's do that. So to create ore, you're actually gonna put slabs here. I'm gonna put blocks like this. You're gonna put another block like this. You're gonna put blocks together like that. So this might look completely random. It's not. You're gonna put a comparator right here. And we're gonna put blocks here. You're gonna put repeaters through the blocks again. I think we should put repeaters. Yep. So we're gonna put repeaters like this now. See, it's gonna go through. You're gonna put a slab tower as well. You can actually do it conveniently like this to save up space. Yeah, that's optional. And this is this is gonna be powered up by default. Like that. This will go how however this will go like this. So we're just gonna power this with the stuff. And if you wonder what about the top, I think you guessed it, it's going to be the carry out option. So very simple, you're just going to put something like this now. 
And that's gonna be your carry out. Exactly like we used to do. So this is gonna be your carry out, and I don't exactly know if it's working yet. Um, I also realized that this is still not done. So if you need the ore to work, you're gonna put another dust here. And you're gonna replace this with a target instead and put torch in it. There we go. So this is apparently gonna be the ore. And if I did everything color correctly, everything should work. Uh, I'm just going to test it out right now. It's not yet the working ALU. So we're gonna start on some 5 plus 3. It's something we should all test. And hey, it actually works. I didn't expect that. That's cool. We're gonna test all the other functions later at the end of the video. It's also important to test out the carry in function. And sure enough, it actually works. That's cool. Alright, so we have everything working. We have the adder part working. The yeah, another part is going to be the inversion system where you can invert A, invert B. This is actually a pretty simple part. Let's get to that. So uh, for an inversion system, you're actually going to put a repeater like this. Then you're going to put a block in the slab. Block slab and block slab. And you're going to do the same on this one except on the other side. Now you're gonna put a block here. I'm going to show in the bottom floor. You can then stack it up. So now you're gonna put blocks, pairs. This is basically a really little XOR gate. I recommend doing something like this instead. So it's gonna be a block here. And obviously block this off. As simple as that. So um, you're gonna have to replicate this all the way up. I'm going to pause the video for you, but actually I'm going to speed it up, just in case you're not confused. Alright, looks good. This is the way I'm gonna do it. The input is on this side. So this is gonna be your input B, this is gonna be your input A, so this is input A, input B. Now you might think that this didn't change anything, and it didn't really change anything yet. So I can still do 5 plus 3, as you can see it works. And even if that doesn't change anything, I still recommend to do 5 plus 3, because we need to test out of the input or send correctly. Now let's move on to the inversion system. That's why I have the XOR gates here. We're not gonna power off all the levers first, just in case. Now, uh, with regards to the inversion system, it's as simple as just powering the repeater like this. So, not just powering a simple single repeater, of course. You're just gonna have to power them all at the same time, like this. You're gonna make a regular slab tower, like this. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. And that's it. So, this is going to be a written version system. You have input A, input B. This is actually input A right here. Now I'm just going to also put lamps and I'm going to label these. So this is going to be A, input A, and input B. If you know programming, you realize that the excla exclamation mark is used to invert, so we probably realize that. It's not important as well. So it's still important to also test this out. The easiest way to check there is, so you see, you have two right here. If you invert, all the ones should be converted to zeros, and zero should be converted to ones. So it should send four instead. So if I invert, yeah, so as you can see, it sends four instead. If I invert this, it should send a two. Yes, it does. Awesome. So this is working. And we already have everything. Let's also add, not, not add, we already have an ore here. We already have an ore gate right here. I'm just going to label this. And even though I haven't tested this yet, it's important to check it out. So let's just find out if it works. It should give us a 7. And yes, it gives us a 7. Awesome. So this is working. And the last part to do is going to be the flood carry. And this is actually pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't uh, require a little bit of work, but it's actually not that hard. So you're actually going to do a repeater right here and a slab tower. But that's not it. Let me finish the slab tower so that you don't have to wait. Oh, 
Okay, so this is one part done. Now for the second part, you're just gonna put a block here, and that's pretty much it. You're just gonna put a competitor and another competitor, and you're gonna put it to a subtraction mark. My bad, we actually need another computer. I'm just gonna replace this with a block instead to make this faster. Now you're gonna take you're gonna take a barrel that has one item in it. Either a stack of items or one. Basically literally any barrel, furnace, hopper, chest that gives a barrel my bad, a comparator signal string of one. So in my case I have sixty-four barrels in one barrel. You can also just put one item. Just make sure it gives a comparator one signal strength. And since it get, always gives a one signal strength, you can just put a slab tower and that's it. Like this. And it's always going to depower. So if we power this on, it's not going to work pretty well. We still have to also connect the other port. This is actually going to be inverted by default. But this is not going to be inverted by default. So I'm just going to put torches like this. And that's gonna go all the way through to here, like that. Yeah, you're gonna connect these both at the same time. And this should be it. Let's label this FC. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So we have FC here. If we powered on FC, then this should be off. So then letting the computer through. And this should all be on. And, and that's pretty much it. That is the ALU done. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please make sure to punch that like button and hit that subscribe button. It will mean me an entire world. So again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.